most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet, Brad. And our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, today we're going to talk about some simple exercises you can do at home for vertigo. Um, that's that spinning sensation that you might get. Sure. Now, the idea here is that you've already seen your doctor and that you've been diagnosed. Mm -hmm. um, if you have BPPV, benign proximal positional vertigo. That's a mouthful. This probably isn't the one for you unless you've already tried the Epley maneuver and it sure. didn't work. Right. I'll put the link to the Epley maneuver. Sure. Um, uh, and actually I'll put one, I'll link one to the, if you're having symptoms to the right, mm -hmm. and I'll link one if you have symptoms to the left. Two different yeah, procedures. Yeah, different mm -hmm. procedures for mm -hmm. the Epley. But if you, um, if you talk to your doctor and, and if he wants to do the cawthorn Cooksey exercises. Okay. Cawthorn Cooksey. These would be the, these are those exercises, okay. kind of a variation. So we'll go ahead and start, Brad, the focus is gonna be on Brad now. Brad's first gonna start, um, and first thing, um, with, with the seated position, I'm not so worried about this, but once we start doing standing ones, safety comes first. Sure. So if you're getting dizzy, you're gonna fall over, you're gonna have somebody with you, or you know, make sure that you're in a position that you're not gonna get hurt. Right, so, sure. All right, the first exercise, you're gonna do some eye movements. Slow then quick, but uh, first you're going to go uh, 10, 20 times up and down. Yep. So Brad's eyes are going up and down. Not his fat head, okay. just the eyes. Up and down. Okay. 20 times. And then you're going to go side to side. 20 times. Stop moving your head, Brad. Just move well, your eyes. You didn't even realize that your, eye, your head was moving, did you? I feel like I'm on one of those movies where they show the eyes moving and the person on the wall. You know? Yeah. All right, now you're going to go ahead and take a pen or a marker okay. or something and go one foot away and then three feet away and your eyes follow it. And just focus on it? Yep, focus on it. This one seems like what's the big deal, but once you start doing it, you can, yep. yeah, there, there's, there's That's some. 20 times. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do some uh, uh, head movement, which, so you're going to go ahead and focus on that same thing. And I'm going to go ahead and have you flex and extend, Brad, your neck. And keep my eye yep, on that. Yeah, keeping your eye on that the whole time. That's kind of neat. 20 times. I can see where this would help you adapt if you have that Yep, dizziness. your eyes are, are going to have to adapt to, to moving and, and focusing. Yep, and then side to side. You're absolutely right. So this okay. is not going to correct it, but it's going to make your body adapt to adapt it so you to can it. function? So it actually can correct it quite often, Brad. Okay. It, right. it may take a while to do it, but it, it, it will correct it. Okay, next one. Yep. You're going to go ahead and do shoulder shrugs. So you're going to shrug forward and then shrug back, Brad. Forward and then back. So up like you're doing yeah, an arc. Up and forward, up and back. So yep. if this was tied on there, I'd be making a line of yep. an arc on, that, on the yep. whiteboard. Okay. Both forward. shoulders at the same time, of yep, course. Both at the same time. 20 repetitions. Yep. Then what's next? Okay, pick a ball up from the ground. Oh. So you're just going to repeatedly pick it up, go all the way straight, all so the way straight. All the way up, good posture. Yep. Somebody with vertigo, Brad, this is not an easy thing to do. Sure. And eyes should stay on the ball, is yep, that correct? Eyes on the ball, okay. and then you're going to want to go 10 times each arm. Okay. Do I have to do 10 for the video, Baba? No, you can yeah, stop. We can All right, quicker. now we're going to go ahead and have you stand up, Brad, and okay. do some of the same ones that we just did. Okay. To start off with the eye movements, okay. side to side. Can you see my eyes, Lonnie? So he's standing now. Again, safety first. If he's side to side, Brad. You really have to focus on not moving your head. At least yeah. I do. Okay, now up and down. Up and down? Eyes up and down. Oh, I did those already. I know. You're, you're jumping ahead. Oh, sorry. Okay, then uh, one foot to three foot. Remember okay. that one? Good. I'm a little slow sometimes, Bob. Not sometimes. We all know that, Brad. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go ahead movements. So you're focused on your pen again. Okay. And now you're going to go ahead and, and flex and extend your head while keeping an eye oh. on this. Mm. Eye is on the object the whole time. Sure. And then right to left. Yeah, side to side. Good. Your eye muscles get tired, Bob. Well, that's the idea, Brad. You're working the eye muscles. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to go ahead and do your shoulder shrugs and rolls. Remember, roll forward, roll back. Yep. Roll forward, roll back. <sighs> you got to take a breath every now and then, too. Relax. Yep. All right. Then we're going to go ahead. You're going to sit down on this, Brad. Ah, uh, good. And you're going to do sit to stands oh. with your eyes open 10 times. 
So just, yep, stand up. Now, what if it's somebody that has a hard time sitting, they can push off? They the can armrest. push up, yeah. Okay, so you can push off the armrest if yep. you needed to. That's a safety thing as well, particularly sitting down if you don't have enough yep. strength. Then, uh, then you're gonna do it 10 times. This is gonna be hard for a lot of people to even just do this physically. Right, yep. oh yeah, this is a little bit of workout too. Okay, and now you're gonna do 10 times with your eyes closed. Oh, this is where a handhold for a lot of people is really gonna be helpful. helpful. Mm -hmm. And Bob, don't pull the chair out from behind me. I won't at this time. Okay, uh, Brad, okay. now go ahead and stand up. Okay. And you're going to throw that ball that you've been having in your hand there. You're going to throw it above your eye level. Yeah. Okay. Like juggling. Yep. And, and I, and I should watch. Keep, yep. keep my eye yep. right on the ball. Yep. Okay. Give me another ball. I can do this. Uh, <laughs> All right. 20 Let's times. Be serious. Here. Okay. Now you're going to go ahead and, and throw the ball under your knees. 10 times each leg like this. And should I be watching the ball? Yep. Watching okay. the ball. This works better without under a tie. Under the knees. Under the knees. Yep. I am under the knee, Bob. Okay. Yeah, Gara, thank you. That helps a lot. Okay. Now I'll do the other leg. But you shouldn't try and catch it, huh? No, you can catch it. Okay. You can throw it and catch it. Yeah, you a baseball it. mitt, it'd be better. Okay. Okay, we're back to sit and stands again, Brad. Sure. Uh, grab your chair again. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're going to stand. Okay. And turn around. Ooh. So stand, turn. Eyes open. Eyes open. Okay. All the way around. Sit down. Okay. Stand. And turn the opposite the other direction. direction. Yep. Does that count as one repetition? Yeah. You have to go both ways as yep. one repetition. 20 times. 20 times. Yeah. So that's a lot. Yeah. That's an advanced one. Yeah, that is. All right. Let's go to some other advanced ones, Brad, here. You're going to go ahead and stand on each foot three times 10 seconds. So 1,001, 1,002, 1, 000, good eye, head yep. up and all that head good up, posture. Yep. Okay, let's say I went to nine and ten. So yeah, then go three, to the other. Yep, three times and, each foot. And if you're not able to balance like this, should you just not do it or get a cane to get your? Well, you can hang out close to a wall or a sure. countertop or something. Okay. That, again, safety first. So, yep. So you should have someone with you if there's any so, concern at all. Then the last one, Brad, you can do is go ahead and walk a straight line. Okay. Uh, five times ten paces. So uh, why don't you go this way, Brad? Oh yeah. So she can. She, uh, just normal walking? Yep. Well, a straight line, so you could actually go... Oh, heel to toe? Yep, heel to toe, straight line. Like like you're walking a tightrope. Yep. And sometimes, you know, like in the clinic, I actually put some tape down on the floor so you have a, a visual. Sometimes it helps. You may, you may or may not want that. That's going to be a difficult one to do. And then so. it doesn't matter where you're looking for that. I'm assuming you can look at your feet. Yes. Mm -hmm. So these exercises overall, uh, Brad, you can do twice a day. And um, you should see some improvement over time. Your body will adapt. Sure. It will habituate to And I can see, e even if I did that probably five times, I'd probably have it almost memorized. And, but after right. 10 or 20 times, I think I probably would, and it would become a routine. Yeah, it seems like a lot right now, but once you start doing them, it's not that much. Right, you can so, start to see the pattern so, and whatnot. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to us. we got a lot of videos on how to, how to stay healthy and fit and pain-free. And vibrant, Bob. And vibrant. And then we got other ones that make you feel strong like bull. Oh, yeah, here's our bull. There we go. There's our bull, too. <laughs> All right, thanks.